so I'm out in the barn about to do my nightly routine um, and I wanted to tell you about a little bit of a crossroads that I've come to um, for those of you who have followed me for a long time you know that everybody um, has been rooting for team Matilda who turned into team Rue uh, he's always been my pal my best buddy hanging out with me everywhere I go he's there uh, everything I do he has to be a part of it a couple days ago um, I was getting something in the barn and he kind of like bit at my leg and I kind of just kind of took my foot and brushed him to the side and I was like stop Rue <laughs> they're flipping the feeder um and then he full-blown like went after my leg so I made a lot of excuse I, I, I kind of thumped him a little bit and he puffed, puffed up and took off kind of made excuses for him I said you know he didn't mean it. He might have seen something on my leg. He, he was not sure. But the reality is, uh, two days after that, I was in the barn getting feed for the night. And he full-blown attacked me for no reason. That merited him a swift kick across the barn. Didn't hurt him. Hurt him enough to where he quit. He's over there eating. He's behind all the other chickens. He's in the very back. Um, this Blue avoids me 99% of the time. If he can avoid me, he does. Rue's always up my honey end. So, I mean, he was right there. and We kind of come to this crossroads of he's hitting sexual maturity. I thought he was always going to be a sweet, gentle rooster. Apparently, this is not the case. He is going to end up being a little bit more aggressive. And he is going to be a rooster. And the reality is, is it's livestock. It happens. These are animals. It happens. Not every animal is going to always be sweet. I had hoped that he would be. But he's just not going to be. So now since the whole incident. Blue's kind of hateful. Now since the incident, um, he avoids me. He avoids me when I'm out in the barn. He avoids me out in the yard. He has no interest in me whatsoever anymore. Hurts my heart, made me sad, because I still love him, but I'm going to have to love him from a distance, and he's going to have to just be here to serve his purpose, which is to protect his girls and make me some babies. Pretty much, that's going to be the beginning and end of his job in life. Um, I just thought I would let you guys know that Rudel has decided that now that he's a man, he's a butthole, too. <laughs> but... Just a word of advice to those of you who are maybe new to chickens, because um, I know that it came out of the blue for me. I, I'm i not really one to just grab something and go with it. 99% of the time, I have to research stuff before I do it. So I kind of knew that there was always that chance, always that possibility that I would end up with an aggressive rooster or that, you know, he could be sweet as a baby and then turn in hateful. But that is what has happened. So, um... No more roo, no more roo cuddles for me. Now we have to have, maintain a respectful distance for his safety and for mine. So, all right, guys, just thought I'd fill you in on my roo, roo the roo report. See you later. Have a great rest of the week. Hopefully, something fun will happen over the weekend that I'll get to share with you. But until then, see you later. <laughs>